The elements are listed in the periodic table according to their atomic structure and chemical makeup. When scientists first began to find new elements and notice patterns in their properties in the early 1800s, the periodic table began to take shape. Below is a summary of how the periodic table developed. Early classification. Chemists started classifying elements into groups depending on their characteristics, such as whether they were metals or non-metals, in the early 1800s. Next is the law of triads. Johann Wolfgang Dobreyer discovered in 1829 that some groupings of three elements shared characteristics and named these groups triads. Lithium, sodium, and potassium, for instance, shared chemical characteristics. Then, the law of octaves. John Newlands discovered in 1862 that every eighth element has comparable qualities if the elements were placed in order of increasing atomic weight, just as musical notes in an octave do. Periodic law. The periodic law, which was independently created in 1869 by Dmitry Mendeleev and Julius Lofemeyer, stipulates that when the elements are grouped in order of increasing atomic weight, their properties recur periodically. Lastly, modern periodic chart. Mendeleev's periodic table, which ordered the elements in ascending atomic weight order and categorized them according to their chemical characteristics, was the first widely accepted version. In 1913, Henry Mosley realized that the properties of elements were better explained by their atomic number, and the present periodic table was formed. The current periodic table arranges the elements in ascending atomic number order and classes them according to their electron configurations and chemical characteristics. Since then, as new elements are discovered and innovative ideas about atomic structure and chemical bonding are produced, the periodic table has continued to change. German chemist Johann Wolfgang Dobreiner made significant contributions to the creation of the periodic table. His research on the rule of triads, which he discovered in 1829, is what made him most famous. Triads are groups of three elements that Dobreiner labeled after noticing that they frequently share characteristics. For instance, he discovered that the atomic weight of strontium was similar to the average of the atomic weights of calcium and barium. Similarly, the characteristics of chlorine and iodine were similar, and their atomic weights were close to the average of bromine and fluorine. The development of Dobreiner's law of triads was a crucial milestone in the creation of the periodic table. His work influenced other chemists, including John Newlands and Dmitry Mendeleev, to look for similarities in the characteristics of the elements, and to create more organized systems for classifying them. Dobreiner's work on the law of triads was in addition to his discovery of numerous chemical substances and procedures, including the first method for generating hydrogen gas, by reacting zinc with sulfuric acid. He made significant contributions to metallurgy, photography, and organic chemistry, and he is regarded as a modern chemistry pioneer. An English scientist named John Newlands made contributions to the creation of the periodic table. He made the discovery of the rule of octaves in 1864, for which he is most known. Newlands ordered the elements in increasing atomic weight order, and discovered that every eighth element has comparable properties, akin to how notes in an octave have similar musical properties. He discovered, for instance, that chlorine, bromine, and iodine have comparable chemical characteristics to lithium, sodium, and potassium. Newland's law of octaves was initially met with suspicion and criticism from other scientists, before being published in a paper in the Journal of the Chemical Society. Nonetheless, his theories influenced other chemists, such as Dmitry Mendeleev, who was able to produce a more full and accurate periodic table, based on the concept of periodicity. Together with his work on organic chemistry and the creation of a system for categorizing chemical reactions, Newlands made other significant contributions to the field of chemistry. Despite his early difficulties in getting any credit for his work on the periodic table, he is now regarded as one of the founders of modern chemistry. Russian chemist Dmitry Mendeleev is well known for creating the periodic table. He is credited as one of the pioneers of modern chemistry, and the periodic table he created is still used to this day to explain the characteristics and behavior of the elements. Mendeleev arranged the elements according to their atomic weights and chemical characteristics in a study that was released in 1869. He ordered the elements in increasing atomic weight order and organized them into rows and columns, depending on qualities such as valence and reactivity. Mendeleev's periodic table was revolutionary, since it not only systematically arranged the elements, but also foresaw the presence of yet-to-be-discovered elements and their characteristics. He anticipated the presence and properties of certain elements, such as germanium, gallium, and scandium, which were eventually discovered and confirmed to fit his predictions. Mendeleev also made significant contributions to chemistry, including studies on the nature of solutions, gas characteristics, and the creation of the idea of stoichiometry. His work provided the groundwork for modern chemistry and has had a tremendous impact on our understanding of the natural world.
The periodic law, which was independently proposed by German chemist Julius Lothermeyer, asserts that when elements are organized in ascending atomic weight order, their properties repeat periodically. The periodic table was created by Dmitry Mendeleev using a similar theory. Meyer and Mendeleev started developing their periodic systems in the late 1860s. His approach organized the elements in increasing atomic weight order and classified them into families based on their chemical qualities. Meyer, like Mendeleev, noticed repeated patterns in the properties of elements and used these patterns to anticipate the properties of unknown elements. A year after Mendeleev's paper, Meyer's study was released in 1870. While Mendeleev's table is the more well-known, Meyer's work greatly contributed to the construction of the periodic table and helped to prove the periodic law. Meyer made significant contributions to chemistry outside the periodic table, including the study of organic compounds and the development of a method for measuring the molecular weights of gases. He also taught chemistry at a number of universities and was a significant contributor to Germany's development of chemical education. British physicist Henry Moseley made significant contributions to our understanding of atomic structure and the design of the periodic table. His work helped to confirm and refine the periodic table produced by Dmitry Mendeleev and Julius Lothermeyer. The finding of the connection between an element's atomic number and its X-ray emission wavelength was Moseley's most important discovery. He discovered that by analyzing the X-ray spectra of various elements, he could establish their atomic numbers with more accuracy than was previously achievable. This research confirmed the existence of periodic table gaps previously filled by elements with inaccurate atomic weights. Mosley's work improved the accuracy of measuring atomic numbers and allowed for a better grasp of the periodic table's element arrangement. The creation of quantum mechanics, which would later completely transform the study of atomic and molecular physics, was also aided by this breakthrough. Mosley's bright career was regrettably cut short when, at the age of 27, he was killed in action during World War I. Yet, his contributions to the periodic table are still recognized and praised today, and his work has had a lasting impact on the discipline of chemistry. Some of the important scientists working on this project include Glenn T. Seaborg, an American chemist who made many new element discoveries and recommended changes to the periodic table, namely the actinide series' placement beneath the lanthanide series. More than 100 isotopes of elements throughout the periodic table has successfully identified by him and his colleagues. Niels Bohr, a Danish physicist who helped explain the periodic features of the elements in terms of their electronic structure by developing the Bohr model of the atom. Linus Pauling, an American chemist who recommended changes to the periodic table based on his understanding of chemical bonding and molecule structure by proposed the simplest formula to calculate the stabilization of bond due to the electronegativity's difference between atoms. Linus Pauling made significant advances to our understanding of chemical bonding and molecule structure. The American physicist Murray Gell-Mann created the idea of quarks and proposed a periodic table based on the characteristics of subatomic particles. These scientists, along with many others, contributed significantly to the construction of the modern periodic table and our understanding of the element's properties and behavior.